First up, we got Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle is one of Priyanka's best friends. Many were shocked to see Chopra at Markle's wedding to Prince Harry, but anyone that knew their past would know the ladies had been friends for years. However, there were rumors that their relationship had soured after the ladies started missing each other's big events. It started after Markle did not attend Chopra's wedding to Nick Jonas in India. Reportedly, Priyanka was so hurt by this, she decided not to attend Markle's New York City baby shower. Page Six reported that Priyanka wanted an apology from Meghan and felt that she quote, didn't respect their friendship. Both women denied the feud rumors and sources later said that Priyanka did not attend because she had prior work commitments, which Meghan was aware of. After the feud rumors got too big to ignore, a source told E that they are perfectly fine. Quote, All the rumors that Priyanka and Meghan aren't friends anymore are totally not true. Priyanka and Meghan are still very close friends and they talk frequently. Meghan confides in Priyanka about the adjustments she's had to make with being a royal. Adding quote, Just because Priyanka didn't go to the shower or that Meghan couldn't come to her weddings doesn't mean anything about their friendship. They're still very close friends, and Meghan considers Priyanka one of her closest confidants. Priyanka echoed these statements herself during an appearance on Watch What Happens Live. A fan called in and asked, quote, Priyanka, are the rumors true that you were upset that Meghan Markle skipped your wedding to Nick Jonas? Host Andy Cohen stirred the pot further, adding, quote, They said you didn't go to her baby shower because you were mad at her. Priyanka laughed off the feud, saying, quote, Oh my god, no, it's not true. Next up, Aisha Malik. Other than her acting talents, Priyanka is known for being very engaged in social issues. She was even named the UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador because of how often she uses her platform for good. But while well, at a beauty event in 2019, Aisha Malik put a huge stain on Priyanka's reputation when she asked Priyanka to comment on problematic social media posts, specifically her feelings about India and Pakistan's strained relationship. Earlier that year, Priyanka tweeted, quote, Jai Hind, which loosely translates to Hail India. The slogan was accompanied by a hashtag Indian Army, which may have alluded to Indian fighter jets bombing a militant training camp in Pakistan. This tweet got tons of backlash, with some claiming the tweet meant she was pushing for war between India and Pakistan. Malik then asked Chopra how she could speak about peace and love at this event, but tweet problematic things about world issues, asking, quote, You are UNICEF ambassador for peace and you're encouraging nuclear war against Pakistan. Before Malik could continue with her question, the mic was pulled away from her, and Priyanka responded, quote, I hear you whenever you're done venting. Got it? Okay, cool. Chopra then told the woman, quote, don't yell, don't embarrass yourself. It was really rude and showed just how little Priyanka cared about listening to her fans. Later in an interview with Golf News, Malik said, quote, What sparked me to say this was after she tweeted Jay Hind on February 26th, there was radio silence from her. All the Bollywood actors were saying Jay Hind too. The thing between her and other Bollywood actors is that Priyanka is international. She is Miss Jonas. She's more than just a Bollywood actress. Therefore, I was more frustrated with her than the other Bollywood actors. Malik claimed that she had no intention to get famous from the incident and had it been her intention, she would have been more eloquent with her question. Aisha also said that she was, quote, disappointed with Priyanka's answer, saying that she was clearly forced to respond on the spot without her usual team of PR experts. Priyanka made no further comment on the matter. Next up, Danielle Jonas. Danielle Jonas, who's been married to eldest Jonas' brother Kevin for years now, has been rumored to hate new sister-in-law Priyanka. There's been little digs that the sisters have thrown out against each other over the years, but neither of them had said anything until Danielle decided to comment on these rumors. The feud rumor started when Danielle did not attend Priyanka's bachelorette party. She claimed that she couldn't attend because she was moving. Things got worse after she wished Sophie Turner a happy birthday. The whole story began with an Instagram post. It was Sophie Turner's birthday, who is another one of the Jonas Brothers' wives. She married to Joe Jonas. So Danielle wanted to be nice to her sister-in-law and posted a few photos of them together on Instagram, along with the caption quote, My girls and I are so blessed to have you in our lives. They can't get enough of their aunt Sophie. You deserve the world and I hope you're having an amazing birthday. In the comments, some users wrote quote, The low-key shade in this though. I love sassy Danny. To which another replied, I read it the same way. Shade against Priyanka, right? But Danielle decided to squash the beef rumors quickly, responding to that comment writing, quote, Nope, no shade about Priyanka. It's just Sophie's birthday, so I wanted to say happy birthday. I think everyone should stop with thinking that we don't like Priyanka. She is lovely. I am so over people trying to make a problem. So it seems like this is case closed, right? Well, not quite. Fans think Priyanka has also been shady towards Danielle in the past. Most notably, Priyanka often refers to Sophie as her J sister, but she's never given Danielle this nickname. Interestingly, however, Danielle was one of the bridesmaids at Priyanka's wedding with Nick Jonas. So I guess it's up to you guys to decide what you think. Akshay Kumar It's been widely rumored that Priyanka was blacklisted from appearing in Bollywood projects because she's had multiple affairs with married men. 
The first married man is Ashke Kumar. It's been rumored that while Ashke and his wife Twinkle were dining at a restaurant, they had a huge fight about his affair with Priyanka. Someone who was at this restaurant told the tabloids what happened. They said, quote, The fight happened in full public view as both Ashke and Twinkle screamed at each other. One got the distinct impression that he had admitted to having an affair with Priyanka Chopra. Since then, it's been rumored that Twinkle forbid Ashke from ever working with Priyanka ever again. The pair had starred in multiple movies together, each time his wife was getting more suspicious of Priyanka. Priyanka and his wife Twinkle even had a fight of their own. It was reported that they screamed at one another over the phone, and it got so bad that Twinkle went to said to confront Priyanka. When she was not there, Twinkle instead confronted her husband, and the pair had a huge fight on set in front of the cast and crew. Reportedly, the next day, Ashke issued an official statement claiming that he will not accept any work alongside Priyanka. Since then, they have not starred in any movies together. And finally, Priyanka Chopra herself. There is something about Priyanka that really rubs people the wrong way, and it's not hard to find people openly trashing the star on social media. One case that got her a ton of backlash was when she appeared on the cover of Condé Nast Traveler in 2016 and was wearing a shirt that raised a lot of eyebrows. BBC reported, quote, The top has the words migrant, refugee, and outsider crossed out, while the word traveler stands out, which was not only confusing, but really tone deaf. After fans started to attack Chopra for wearing the shirt, she responded, quote, I'm really, really apologetic about the fact that so many sentiments were hurt. I'm someone who always stands for no labels. I was very affected and felt really, really horrible. She added that she wanted the magazine to tackle xenophobia, which is a big issue in regards to a lot of these labels. When asked why they included the phrase traveler, Condé Nast claimed that they wanted to be ambiguous about people moving in or out. Whether it's by choice or not by choice, you're still traveling. This is obviously not true. And refugees are fleeing their home countries because it's not safe, not because they just want to travel. That's not all. She's had a reputation for not being subtle about her accomplishments in the past, and many fans think she brags about herself any chance that she gets. Speaking with the Daily Beast in 2019, Chopra was speaking about her background and said, quote, I come from a very academic family. I was very academically inclined when I was 17. I didn't really think the profession of glamour was a real profession because everyone in my family was academic, but it changed by fluke when I won Miss India. At first you think that's an endearing story, but if you really listen to her comments, she included not one, but two brags about how great she is. Not only did it come across as out of touch, she also bashed people in the entertainment industry by claiming she didn't think it was a real profession. This is just one of many times fans think she was arrogant in an interview. Starting off this countdown, we have the tabloids. According to a number of big news tabloids, Millie Bobby Brown has actually changed a lot because of her success with Stranger Things. There's a side of her that we don't get to see, but they do when conducting interviews. One source revealed, and I quote, Brown was cool, aloof, and downright rude during promotional events for season three of Stranger Things. So much so that her publicist had to give her a little lesson in how to deal with media and fans. Well then, that's pretty awkward. Coming in at number nine, we have David Harbour. The bond that Millie's character Eleven and David Harbour's character Jim Hopper have on screen is incredibly beautiful. They are very close and share a deep love for each other. It's safe to say that in the show, they both saved each other in different ways. But outside of the set, the relationship is different. They both still love and care for each other, but David is very concerned about Millie. He's afraid that the fame and public attention will get to her head. In a podcast, David said, and I quote, I have a real like worry. I worry about her and the fame and all that she has to struggle with. David revealed this around the same time that Millie was facing a number of scandals, which we will be talking about next. In our eighth spot, we have Hunter Echo. Now this is one of the scandals that I was talking about, and it's probably her biggest one. In July of 2021, during a live stream, Hunter Echo drunkenly admitted that he groomed Millie and that he did acts with her. Millie was 16 at the time, Hunter was 20. The age of consent is 18, but Hunter argued that everything was consensual and Millie's mom and dad knew everything. He even said that he lived in her house for eight months. Still, their relationship was very inappropriate. And later, Millie's team said that they are taking action against Hunter and his claims as they were dishonest. Either way, Hunter had some nasty things to say about Millie. In the end, he got himself in big trouble instead of exposing Millie. In our seventh spot today, we have Drake. 
Now, this is another pretty weird controversy that Millie was involved in. It all started when it was revealed that Drake and her were pretty close and that they were frequently texting each other. Which is weird because of their age difference, like Drake's in his 30s texting a teenager. And fans pointed out that Drake met one of his exes when she was a teenager and then later dated when she was of age. Anyways, according to Drake, Millie has a lot of boy trouble that he helps her with. Even Millie admitted in an interview that Drake helps her with her boy drama. When asked about what kind of boy drama, she said that it stays in the text messages. In our sixth spot, we have the stardom. Another tabloid revealed that Millie is having a hard time handling her stardom. They said, and I quote, Millie has turned into a rude star and is unable to handle the stardom on her own. There are multiple videos of her interviews where people declare that Millie never leaves a chance to be in the spotlight and always interrupts her co-actors, which shows that she is being selfish and arrogant, end quote. Now we will be talking about these interviews later on, but it is true, whenever the Stranger Things cast does have an interview, Millie always takes the lead, preventing her co-stars to get a word in. And when they do talk, she often cuts them off and takes over the conversation, leaving them pretty annoyed. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with her behavior. According to some sources, Millie has already become a diva. Apparently, Millie's attitude was fine during Stranger Things season one, but as soon as she got all the attention, her attitude changed. She started trying to behave more adult-like for the press, and a lot of people aren't here for it. In fact, she has been called cringy for it. It also makes it hard on set if she thinks she's top tier and the best. In fact, some people have labeled her as one of the most annoying actresses. Coming in at number four, we have Jacob Satoris. The two dated in 2017 for a few months. Millie said that when they broke up that it was mutual, but it seems like Jacob was pretty hurt over their breakup. In fact, he apparently wrote a number of songs about Millie, including the song, We're Not Friends. And the lyrics definitely call her out. Some lyrics go as so, you're bad at seeing signals, girl. I've never introduced you to a single girl. And everything I do around you is on purpose, putting in the work for ya, hoping that it's working. I spent about a year just playing my part. I'm picking up the pieces to your broken heart. He also goes on to sing, girl, I want to give you more than good advice. Yikes, Jacob, yikes. Who knew Jacob had it in him? Coming in at number three, we have Sadie Sink. Now, according to Millie Bobby Brown, Sadie Sink is one of her closest friends. However, there have been a number of incidences between the two that make us think that Sadie isn't the fondest of Millie. First off, let's take a look at this clip from an interview with the Stranger Things cast. Because yes. I mean, it was fun, but like, because Sadie got to see how like crazy I am when I'm 11. <laughs> the like, I'm just like, you know, always really like deep in thought, and so like. Working together for the first time was like really fun. I feel so sorry for her. Like look at how walled up and awkward she gets when Millie cuts her off. And if you watch other interviews, she continually does this with Sadie and Sadie's face says it all. In our second spot today, we have Caleb. Now during the same interview, Caleb who plays Lucas Sinclair on Stranger Things, I guess noticed that Sadie wasn't talking and kind of shied off. So he kind of called out Millie and asked Sadie if she wanted to say anything. Sadie, do you want to talk? Yeah. Yeah, no, sure. Sadie, what yeah, do you, you guys said it all. Had he not said anything, Millie would have just continued to talk the whole interview without letting Sadie get a word in. And in our number one spot today, we have Caleb part two. During the Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards, Sadie, Caleb, and Millie went on stage to accept the award for Stranger Things. And well, take a look at how that went. And obviously you guys, I mean. Millie literally couldn't wait her turn and prevented Caleb from saying anything. After which he kind of just gives a look like, really, really Millie? And it was captured all on live TV. Also, Millie doesn't even turn to apologize or anything. I don't even think she realized that he tripped in the back. First up, we got Ariana Grande. Victoria Justice's most well-known feud is between her and Ariana Grande, who were co-stars in Nickelodeon's Victorious back before Ariana was mega famous. Although both women deny this feud, it's clear from the receipts that there was some tension between them. Since the early 2010s, fans have been convinced that Justice and Grande are rivals. The most notable moment that alluded to a feud happened during an interview with the four 
female leads of Victorious, which featured Grande, Justice, Liz Gillies, and Daniela Monet. During the Popstar Magazine interview video, the cast members played a game where they said things about one another that fans might not know. During the interview, Gillies gushed about Grande's singing voice, telling the publication, quote, She sings everything, and it's a good thing because she has a beautiful voice, and it's awesome. She sings absolutely everything, she never stops. When the other members of the cast started to agree, Justice looked very annoyed and interrupted the conversation by saying, quote, I think we all sing a lot while appearing to roll her eyes, which is obviously downplaying the compliment that was supposed to be for Ariana. Then years later, when it was announced that Victorious was ending, Ariana took to Ask FM to share her thoughts on why the show was over. She wrote, quote, Sweetheart, the only reason Victorious ended is because one girl didn't want to do it. She chose to do a solo tour instead of a cast tour. If we had done a cast tour, Nickelodeon would have ordered another season of Victorious while Sam and Kat filmed simultaneously, but she chose otherwise. I'm sick of the BS. This was clearly a reference to Justice, who had released her own music at that time and announced that she was going on a tour with this new music. But Justice disagreed and clapped back on Twitter with her side of the situation, writing, quote, Some people would throw someone they consider a friend under the bus just to make themselves look good. Hashtag stop being a phony. Hashtag if they only knew. This tweet was most likely intended to play on the rumors that the show was actually canceled so Grande could star on Sam and Kat with Jeanette McCurdy. But the shade did not end there. Years Years later, Ariana was doing an interview where she spoke about her past working on Victorious and shaded an unnamed co-star. Quote, I worked with someone who told me they'd never like me, but for some reason I just felt I needed her approval, so I started changing myself to please her. It made me stop being social and friendly. I was so unhappy. This seemed to be clearly in reference to Victoria since Ariana was good friends with many of her cast members after the show ended, but Victoria attempted to clear it up years later on the Meredith Vieira show. Saying, quote, so basically there was an article in Seventeen magazine where she said that she was bullied on set and the magazine basically alluded to it being me. So once the article came out, actually before it came out, she texted me privately and was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. You know how the media twists words. I was not talking about you. Obviously, I was talking about someone on Broadway that I had worked with before. This seemed to set things straight, but it also didn't make a lot of sense and Ariana never confirmed it. So the feud rumors continued. Since it's been over a decade since the show ended, fans care less and less about this alleged feud. But it's clear that they are not friends because members of the cast, including Ariana, get together pretty often without Victoria. So maybe it wasn't only Ariana that had a problem with Victoria. Victoria was also not a part of music videos like Seven Rings and Thank You Next that featured several members of the Victorious cast, except Justice. It's clear that even if there was beef between them at one point, they want it to be over now. After the meme of Victoria saying, we all went viral, a fan commented on one of Ariana's posts, writing quote, I think we're all the best. Ariana responded to the comment saying, quote, shut the F up with a heart, clearly wanting to shut down this meme. Victoria similarly squashed the beef rumors, telling TMZ in 2015, quote, we're not best friends, but at the end of the day, I wish her well and she's doing great and I'm happy for her. So I guess after all that, I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. Next up, Nina Dobrev. Nina Dobrev and Victoria Justice were definitely related in a past life because the two stars look identical. I don't think I've ever seen a more insane case of a celebrity doppelganger. Because they look so similar and are only a few years apart in age, I'm sure they have to compete slightly for roles. Any role that one gets could easily be played by the other. They also had pretty similar careers. Both broke through about the same time in the late 2000s with popular teen-oriented television series, with Justice starring on Zoe 101 and Dobrev appearing in Degrassi. Then they both got their own shows, Victorious and Vampire Diaries. It's possible that with casting, these two ladies are very competitive. Maybe the casting director already saw one of the ladies and didn't think that they were the right fit, so they wouldn't even bother bringing in the other one as a casting director would assume that they would just be the same. Also, it's safe to assume if they both weren't in the industry and both were competing against each other, we could assume that one of them could get double the roles that they have now because they would get, you know, both the roles that both ladies have. And obviously the two women know that they look alike. Victoria Justice told MTV that she gets mistaken for Nina daily, saying, quote, dude, you don't understand. I get this every single day. Everyone always confuses me for her. Maybe the women are annoyed that at this point in their careers, they are still mistaken for someone else. Next up, Kelly Flanagan. Former Bachelor contestant Kelly Flanagan took a super shady dig at her ex, Peter Weber, aka Pilot Pete, and Victoria Justice got stuck in the middle. After sharing a photo featuring Pete, Victoria, and friend and fellow actress Manana Sanfelpo, Flanagan went 
went to the comments to share her disdain for the trio. Flanagan and Weber dated for 10 months after his fail engagement ended. Flanagan left a comment on a fan account that reposted the photo, writing, quote, a good family friend of mine, nice, referring to Renata. Clearly, she thinks there might be something going on between the two of them. Justice left her own comment on the photo, writing, quote, so great catching up with you today, Pilot Pete. For those of you who watch The Bachelorette, I'm sure you know Peter. We've been friends since I was nine back in Florida, and our moms are good friends, so let's not start any crazy rumors. She added at the time, quote, I still have no idea how the show ends, can't wait to see. So clearly Justice wanted to deflect any rumors that she was trying to see Pete as more than a friend, but fans of Kelly's did not buy this and attack Justice in the comments. Next up, the victorious cast. After the show Victorious ended, the cast somewhat grew apart and moved on to different ventures. But it seems that most of the cast is still pretty friendly and even hang out from time to time. But when these hangouts occur, the star of the show, Victoria Justice, is nowhere to be found. There was clearly tension between her and the other cast members during the show that is translated over to present day. Maybe that's why none of the cast members other than Justice were interested in doing a Victorious reboot when it came on the table. When Justice was asked about the idea in one interview, she was completely on board with the reboot, saying, quote, if the decision was ever made to do a reunion or a reboot, I'd be down for that. And I think everyone else would be too. Justice told HuffPost back in 2016, adding, quote, it was all kind of like a theoretical thing and it never came to fruition. This reunion never ended up happening. Some think the other actors didn't want to do it because it would only boost Victoria's career and they don't want to give her a helping hand. Next up, Elizabeth Gillies. Liz Gillies was another one of the Victoria's cast members that turned into one of Ariana Grande's best friends. The pair have appeared in interviews together and Liz has been featured in multiple Ariana Grande music videos as well as social media posts. It's clearly no secret that the pair are good friends and have been close since Victorious. Since Liz is friends with Ariana and not Victoria, she clearly took Ariana's side in this feud. And there's even a potential Liz has her own beef with Victoria after starring alongside her in the show. Neither star said any negative words about one another, but it's clear that Liz and Ariana are a package duo and Victoria is not a part of their clique. So that's all for the list, but before I go, I'm gonna show.